and it is time again for my Bulu box. Um, this is normally $10 a month. I got a deal where I got three months for $10. This is my third month. This is, I assume, July's box because it's July. And it's the middle of the month. Um, first box was really unimpressive. Second box was slightly improved, but they did give me vitamins that were practically out of date. They literally only had a month to go, and that literally was a month's supply. And I did not get through them all, so it's a little weary. So, unless this is really impressive, I'm probably going to unsubscribe from this box. But we'll see. It is one of the cheaper boxes. So, right on top, I assume something is a nutrition bar in here. Uh, Matt Terrania, because there's a little slip on here. And there's something about try our other products for Runa. Boy, that's really thick. I put everything on top above the tissue paper. Is the tissue paper still there? Five dollars for your thoughts. We want to know what you think about the samples in this box. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. And this has all the samples on it, so I don't really want to look. And let's see. All right. Fiber plus powder. Well, that's an interesting improved apple spice flavor um, so it came with what must be the label from a bottle as a sticker wow must have had a lot laying around if you're gonna give us a whole label off a bottle um, makes me a little nervous actually but I suppose it was cheaper than them reprinting them um, but they gave us that and a full information card on Yerba Prima uh, and protein pack, which now I have to read the ingredients to see if I can even try this one. Um, psyllium seed husks, gluten-free oat bran, archaea gum, soy fiber. Well, that's a no for me. Uh, let me know if you, you want to try protein powder. Because uh, I just, I can't risk it. <laughs> Apple fiber, stevia extract, red clover, dandelion root, leaf extract. Senna extract, natural flavor, but yeah, no, it's got soy in it, so I will not be trying this protein powder. Um, but it's called Yerba Prima Fiber Plus Powder. So one product I can't use in the box. This seems to be more food-like products or stuff this month. Oh, this is a tea. Maybe I can try this. Cinnamon lemongrass gyoza tea, Runa for focused energy. So I might be able to try that. I do drink tea. Yay, something I can use that first box. I don't use anything on it. Oh no, one of these again. Okay, the last one I got was coffee flavored of something like this. This is called Island Boost. Fastest feel for your muscles that delivers electrolytes to help prevent muscle cramping. Guaranteed to eliminate stomach issues associated with strenuous activity. Apparently I need it. I never get this strenuous on activity. Consume every, for maximum boosting performance, consume every 30 to 45 minutes. Contains water, glucose, fructose, coconut water, passion fruit juice concentrate, sodium, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate, uh, but oh, passion fruit, I might be able to drink that. Might use it next weekend because we'll be running around like mad next weekend with Art on the Rocks and Outback and Rummage Sailing. And then the last two things look like bars of some kind. Uh, up for a happier inside. Oh, it's more probiotics. Haven't even used the last pack they sent. Yeah, this is not one vi high in vitamin D, four chewable vanilla yummies. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get this box again. And out of everything they've given me, this is the first thing I feel I'll really use it instead of tea. Savory bar with sun-dried tomato and basil. Well, that sounds different at least. The last savory bar I had from a food box is not up my alley. But um, it's sun-dried tomato, so I'm more likely to eat it than regular tomato because I just don't like that larval stage of the seeds. And it's not the taste of the tomato, but I'm not going to try it on camera or anything. And again, let's see if I can even try it. Let's see if soy snuck in. 
pea, pea crisps. Oh, I'm excited. Those are what's in my Katoa bars that I got are pea crisps, and I like those. Cashews, chicory, brown rice syrup, sun-dried tomatoes, cashew butter, olive oil, amaranth puffs, currants, capers. The capers scare me. Um... Vegetable, glycerin, tomato, basil, sea salt, sunflower, agar. Agar is a back, is, I believe, like a red algae. Does contain tree nuts. Well, no soy, so I can actually eat it. And that's all that was in the box. Again, not really impressed with this company. Um, I don't know if I just answered the profile wrong or something. And they never gave me a place to go. Could you please not send me something with soy protein in it? Because that that triggers my stomach aches more than anything is soy protein as an ingredient, as opposed to say like uh, I can eat soy sauce that's been the soy's been fermented. So, but anyway, well at least I will put three things videos up giving someone a heads up about what they'll get, especially if they try to hit lots of vitamins and supplements, because they did try to stay on that track. It's just it ends up half most of the stuff I can't really use. So, thank you for watching.